Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, September 28, 2011. And uh, we're looking here at the uh, general markets. Uh, this is the NASDAQ 100, the QQQ. And um, I drew along, along the tops here, and that's been in place for well over a month and um, almost two months. Uh, this is an upward uh, trending line here. Now, you can draw an imaginary line down along the bottoms, and you can see uh, what's called a channel forming. It's an upward sloping channel, but it's very volatile. Um, from the top to the bottom, it's about uh, a 10% uh, move. So um, that's, that's a lot. And uh, so we have a very wild, uh, loose market here. Um, we rallied up earlier in the week. Uh, looked like we were going to um, uh, take out all these moving averages here to the upside. Uh, yesterday, we got uh, actually above the 200-day moving average, this black dotted line. And then uh, today we dropped uh, about 1.5% uh, back below all these key moving averages. Uh, this blue solid line is the 50-day moving average, so back below that. Um, will we go back down and test the lower end of this uh, uh, channel at about um, $53.50? I would not be surprised. We're now looking at the S&P 500. Uh, this is the SPY, the spiders. Uh, down 2% today. And this is a much uh, uglier chart. These are the bigger cap stocks. Um, the uh, NASDAQ 100 has a lot of tech stocks in it. So tech looking a lot stronger than just the general large cap stocks. And uh, you can see this volatile channel here as well, but it's not upsloping. It's pretty much of a flat channel, just grinding up and down here, caught in a trading range for two months now. And uh, down over 2% today. Um, uh, never got above the 50-day moving average here on the uh, on the S&P 500, and well below these other key moving averages. So this is a much uglier chart. And here is the Russell 2000 uh, down almost 4% today. So very volatile uh, on this index. And you can see if you draw a line along the tops here, we've got a down sloping uh, channel here, and uh, well below the 50-day moving average, well below all key moving averages. So the small caps looking very weak as well. So they're not ready to lead uh, anytime soon. And in case you were looking for leadership to come out of the emerging markets, uh, not not yet. Uh, down 3% today, well below all the key moving averages, and even well below this uh, red line, which is a 21-day moving average. So. Um, this one not looking good at all. Emerging markets not, not going to lead anytime soon. And here is the XLF. This is the financial sector which has been under pressure for most of the year here. Uh, under extreme pressure here, another ugly chart pattern. Um, well below all key moving averages, losing almost 3% today. Um, looks like it may be headed down to test these lows here at $11.34. So financial is not looking to lead anytime soon. Either. And now looking at the uh, mega cap, the Dow industrial average, uh, down 1.6% today. Uh, ugly chart, uh, down below all key moving averages, uh, waffling in a trading range here, up and down, back and forth, uh, whipping everybody around here. Uh, same story. So uh, money not flowing into the mega cap multinational companies as well. And looking now at commodities, this is the GSG, uh, which tracks the uh, uh, commodity index fund. And uh, it was down 2.5% today. Ugly chart pattern, below all key moving averages, down sloping, making lower lows and lower highs uh, in a major downtrend. So commodities not offering any hope either. Looking now at the uh, uh, gold miners, the gold uh, mining stocks, um, had a good run going here um, uh, throughout the summer. A uh, nice uptrend going, and then, uh, of course, in the last, um, I don't know, six or seven trading sessions, fallen off a cliff here. Big gap down here last week, of course. Huge volume, huge downside volume. Back down here testing lows. So um, uh, severely damaged charts here in the gold miners. And looking at the gold today, uh, down 2.5%, uh, ugly chart. Had a good rally going since uh, July here. Breakout, ran new highs here, and uh, corrected back. And then uh, last week fell off a cliff, taking out all key moving averages. Uh, another bad down day today. The only saving grace is the volume was, uh, was light today. Looks like we're consolidating around this 100-day moving average at about the $1,600 level. Uh, we did have a very ugly day on Monday. Came down here to 1535, and uh, testing uh, the breakout here. So um, <clears throat> looks like gold uh, is trying to make a bottom here. We'll have to see. 
I really uh, would not trade gold uh, to the long side until uh, we start to see a real trend develop. Um, right now, uh, all uh, the trend lines are pointing down. So I would just wait till this uh, thing stabilizes. If it does, it could continue lower. There's, there's no rules. Silver looking real ugly as well, um, down uh, over 6% today. Um, very nasty day for silver on Monday, coming all the way down to $26. Um, silver, of course, made a high, almost touching $50 here back in May. Had a big correction. Um, looked like it was forming a nice cup. Got a nice uptrend going here. And then uh, all of a sudden, um, a couple of weeks ago, we broke that uptrend. Uh, fought a battle here at the 50-day moving average. Lost that battle and has since taken out all key moving averages. No real support for silver. Um, just uh, the round number of $26, the bottom that we made on Monday. So um, hopefully silver will consolidate. Looks like it's uh, trying to uh, consolidate here in the 30 uh, to $32 area. We'll have to see. Um, again, um, uh, very difficult to trade uh, uh, this type of a chart. Uh, there's no real uh, trend in place. And one last chart I wanted to show you is the uh, VIX. This is the volatility index. And uh, the bigger the number, the more volatile the markets are. Now you can see that uh, we're, we've spiked up quite a bit. And um, uh, this is a monthly chart here. And uh, you can see that uh, we had a lot of volatility in uh, 2010, early 2010. And of course, extreme volatility in late 2008 when we had that horrible uh, bear market plunge. Um, so we're back here uh, testing the uh, uh, old uh, um, two-year highs here of the volatility. Will it spike up again uh, to almost 90? I don't know. Um, but this was, that, of course, 2008 was a very nasty, nasty period there. But uh, it just begs the question, uh, what do we do? You know, uh, there's really, uh, to the long side, there's really not much to trade. Uh, the general stock market, uh, the charts look very, very poor there. Uh, the precious metals have been uh, uh, damaged heavily. Um, their charts are, are, are not tradable, in my opinion, uh, until they uh, uh, get into some sort of a trend. Commodities are trending lower. Um, international markets trending lower. There's really not much to do, in my opinion, other than uh, wait this thing out and let's see uh, where we end up if we get a trend going. Okay.